Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Yoast SEO plugin with Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. Yoast SEO is the world's leading SEO plugin for WordPress. There are plenty of competitors, of course, such as Rank Math SEO, but Yoast still leads the way by a long margin with over 10 million active downloads. The plugin is 100% compatible with Avada and one we recommend using. Everybody needs to take SEO seriously if you want your site to be the needle found in the global haystack of websites, and Yoast SEO is an easy to use tool to achieve great results without having to be an SEO expert. Yoast SEO comes in a free and a premium version, and it has a number of other extensions as well, but let's just look at the free version which you can use to great effect. To install Yoast SEO, simply head to the Avada plugins page. Mouse over Yoast SEO and one click will install and activate the plugin. This places the Yoast SEO link in the dashboard menu and the Yoast SEO panel on all pages, posts and custom post types. The plugin displays a success notice and directs you to start the first time configuration. Let's look at that as that takes you through setting up important SEO options site wide. The first step is running the SEO data optimization. When this is done, it moves on to site representation where you answer a few questions about your site. The next step is for adding your social profiles, which allows Yoast to fine tune the metadata for these platforms. Then there are some personal preferences about data and privacy, and that's it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the plugin options. Even the free version of Yoast is fully featured with many options and settings. I'll just start on the dashboard on the general tab there's some info here and an alert center and the link to the first time configuration we just looked at. Apart from this tab, there is a settings tab with a large range of settings for the site and the various content types. There are features you can enable or disable and there are a wide range of options. There's an integration tab for various plugins, a tools tab, an academy tab to learn more about SEO, an upgrades tab, and a support tab with links to additional resources. As you can see, there is a lot you can do in this plugin simply in the settings and configuration. For more details on how to set up and use Yoast SEO fully, please refer to the Yoast documentation. But for the purposes of this video, let's look at the main function of this plugin and how it is used to help improve the rankings of a post or page in the SERPs, the search engine result pages. I'll just go to a post and edit it. Currently, to work on the SEO of a post, you need to use the backend builder. At the bottom of the page, under the editor and other panels, is the Yoast SEO panel. With the help of this very easy to use interface, you fine tune your content to improve its SEO. To rank your content, Yoast uses a very simple traffic light system of red, amber and green, where green means your content will have the best chance of ranking well. So let's take this post as an example. The first thing to do is to add a focus key phrase. This is basically what people might search for in a search engine that you want to be found for. The plugin then evaluates the page's content and provides feedback on how to improve the content for that particular focus key phrase. If you're unsure of what focus key phrase to use, click the question mark next to focus key phrase for a good explanation on the Yoast blog. I'll just use the title of the post. The feedback then comes in the form of the SEO analysis results, a list of points integral to good SEO. Let's just open that and have a look. As you can see, it lists points under the problem, improvements and good results category. And by looking at these results and implementing the recommendations in each one, your number of green items increases and at some point the collective ranking for the post or the page will turn green. OK, so currently my example post is amber and ranked OK. Let's look at the individual results to see what has been done right and what can be done better. Let's start with the good results. In this specific post from the bottom, the first one is SEO title width. And here Yoast thinks my SEO title width is just right. If you're unsure of what any of these means, you can mouse over each result and click on the heading to be taken to an explanation for that specific item on the Yoast website. Text length is the next one, and Yoast recommends a minimum length of 300 words or more for a regular page or post, and so it goes green. Key phrase in slug is the next one, and a few up from that is key phrase in SEO title. 
The easiest way to achieve a green light for both of these is to name your post or page with the key phrase when creating it, or alternatively use the title as the focus key phrase on an existing page. Previously used key phrase is the next one, and as I've not used the key phrase previously, it also goes green. It's important for SEO that you only use a focus key phrase once. This might seem counterintuitive to some, but it is because if you optimize multiple posts or pages for the same key phrase, you might get duplicate content issues. My next green light is the key phrase length. This invites us into the complex world of long tail and short tail keywords, but let's keep it simple. And here my focus key phrase is considered to be just right. The recommended key phrase length is up to four words, not counting function words like prepositions. Internal links comes next, and this is a link to another page or post on the same site. Google and other search engines rank pages with links higher than pages without them, so an easy thing to do on all your content is to link to other areas of your site. The last green light I have is images. This just points to the fact I actually have some images in the post. Again, if we click on the title, we get taken to a page where there is an explanation of why it's important to have images in your content. Okay, so now let's look at some of the items that are not green. For this, I'm going to start at the top with the red items, as they are the ones most contributing to the lack of a green light for this post. The first one is a bit of an ad for the premium version of the plugin, so we'll ignore that, but the first one we can use is related to the links item we already looked at, as this is outbound links. These, of course, are links to external sites and also rank well with search engines. Right here in the problem description, Yoast says, no outbound links appear in this page, add some. And so I will. I'll just move up to the post content, and in this text block, I'll just add an external link. We have dummy text here, so it's not going to be relevant for our content, so when you're doing it, you should of course create a link that has some connection to your content. Once I've added my link, I'll just update the page, and now if I scroll back down to the Yoast SEO panel, we can see that Outbound Links has now moved to the Good Results section. It's that easy. The next red item is Key Phrase in Introduction. This suggests that the focus key phrase should appear in the first paragraph. Again, I'll just scroll up to the first text block and edit that and add the key phrase in here. Again, I'll just update this. And coming back to our analysis, we can now see that that one has moved to the green section as well. The next red issue is key phrase density. This is because the plugin has only found our key phrase once in the copy. As this is lorem ipsum, I'm not surprised, but it's an easy one to fix. If you're writing a blog post about a particular topic, it shouldn't be too hard to get it in there a few times at least. I'll just scroll up and add the term again in another text block. After updating and coming back, we can see the item is now in the good results section. And as well, I have just noticed the green smiley face at the top of the SEO analysis. This means that Yoast is now ranking the post as good when it comes to SEO, but you can always continue with your optimization. The next one as well is an easy one to fix, the meta description length. And here you can manually specify what the search engines should show in their site previews. I'll add the focus key phrase and some lorem ipsum. The last edit has actually fixed two issues, the meta description length, and also one that wasn't showing before as we just didn't have a meta description at all. But now it's also in the good results section and is called key phrase in meta description. Now the last red issue is called key phrase in subheading. Again, this is very easy to fix. If we scroll up to our top title on the page, we can just add the key phrase in here, in front of the existing title. Okay, so that's all the major problems sorted. And now we can see we only have one possible improvement. This is the image alt attributes a long-used SEO tactic where the alt tag in the image is used to enter the focus key phrase. I could add the alt tag to the image in the media library, but in this case I'm just going to add it to this specific use of the image through the element. I'll just scroll up to the image element and edit it, and scroll down to the image alt text option. I'll add the focus key phrase in here and save it. So now we can see our page is ranked green, and we have a clean slate when it comes to SEO issues. Now all that needs to be done is to wait until the page is re-indexed by the search bots, and our post should start to jump in ranking. Obviously the success of this will also depend on the popularity of the key phrase, and lots of other search engine secret source. But this plugin is the most popular SEO plugin in the world for a reason, and that's because it works. Alright, SEO is a monstrously large topic, and this was a very basic overview. 
but I hope you now get the idea how easy Yoast is to use and why it's one of our recommended plugins. Ok that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.